Well, hi there, folks. Welcome back to Mossy Roots Farm. It's going to be quite the uh, interesting video here for you. Uh, we don't normally focus on anything specifically. We usually go on random rants and tangents for no, no good reason. But this old gal here is a 1957 Ford 860. And uh, she needs some work. You know, we got calcium in the old tires here, so of course all the rims are rotted, and I can see that it was splashing around as I drove her home here. Uh, wow, this kind of... This looks funny. I might have a camera setting that I need to change, because I don't recall it doing this. Ah, sorry. Uh, but yeah, she was my grandfather's original tractor. Oh yeah, I definitely do. This, oh, there we go. I don't know. Maybe that was, I'm sorry. Grandfather's original tractor. Uh, he bought it. He didn't buy it brand new. He bought it probably 1970 or later. Um, he used it to clear out the whole lot here. Uh, this all used to be hillside. And he used this in the back blade we have to clear all of it. And, uh, well, I sold it a couple years back and then I bought it again because I didn't know what I was doing at the time when I sold it. And I saw posts on Facebook all the time about guys looking for their original tractors, looking for a tractor that was from their farm. And, well, luckily the guy I sold it to wanted to sell it, so I bought her back. And here she is. So... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing with this. I know nothing this year. Um, I don't uh, don't have the resources nor the time to do anything this year. But at some point, it's going to get restored completely and uh, back into operating condition here for sure. Um, but see, like I don't know how far I'm really going to go because stuff like this exhaust, I mean, this exhaust doesn't really bother me. You know, uh, the exhaust being that way, having two mufflers on it, um, and how this muffler is actually backwards, and how that says inlet right there, and this is the inlet for the exhaust over here, but it says inlet right there. Um, apparently, Grandpa couldn't read. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'd like to redo some of this stuff. Just make it look a little bit nicer. I gotta figure out this seat. Uh, I don't know if it adjusts or what, but <laughs> the whole tractor ride, I felt like I was hugging the steering wheel. Um, so this is an 860. It's got the live PTO on the back. It also has a functioning uh, hydraulic uh, input. The only thing with this hydraulic is is that it's like a one-way kind of a thing it's a one-way valve basically um and what that means is is that the hydraulic fluid is either pushed or pulled and that's it you know so if you think about it like a water bottle you fill your water bottle up or you empty your water bottle not both because some hydraulic cylinders have a uh, inlet and an outlet, one on top, one on bottom, so it's more like a continuous kind of a flow. Um, but this one does not. So anyhow, I'm probably rambling. I'm going to throw some clips in here of me driving this thing home. Um, it did really good. It had some bounce because I think calcium's not at the correct level. Uh, I've always been told that when there's either too little or too much calcium it rides like crap uh, my big john deere that you guys have seen i have beet juice in it because i hate calcium and uh it was uh it was never this bouncy um actually i just looked i might have to get this fixed here soon looks like right there a weld's cracking so i might have to get that taken off and get that fixed up before I do anything else, because I do plan on using this. Um, as long as everything works, as long as everything's good to go on it, I do plan on using it. Uh, I like having at least one or two small tractors on the farm because you don't always need the big monster. You know, I don't always need an 
12, 14,000 pound tractor, however much my big monster weighs, you know, if I'm just moving one round bale for the cows up there, you know. Um, so, but anyhow, you guys will see this on the channel at some point. I'll be doing some stuff to it, looking at it. I want to get into more general farm stuff. Um, I, I don't like just being one specific thing because the more I watch other YouTube channels, it, it's that way. Uh, one guy might have a tractor video and then the next video might be of grazing and then the next one might be of making chicken food and maybe I don't care about tractors or chicken food but I want to look at the grazing you know it it expands your audience's uh, minds a little bit if you introduce some different things in there so if you've come for the grazing don't worry we'll, we'll be doing that everything's all set up I don't know if you can see all the individual uh, strands and stuff up there, but it's all up there. We'll be we'll be getting to her. We just got to get some warm weather because it's been cold and the cows have last of last year's hay. And hopefully I don't have to dig any extras out of the barn there and feed them, but we'll see. So thank you guys for watching. I will uh, see you on the next one. Bye.